Hi family, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for coming back. I know you guys haven't seen my face in like, what, a month, close to a month? Maybe three weeks. It's been a long time, it's been a long time. I've been making the dark videos and you guys hate that. The voiceover with the dark screen or like a little flower on top of it. I know you guys hate that, but y'all know the girl was going through some stuff, y'all. The girl was going through some stuff. And um, I said I wanted to take a break. I took a break, but something, some things have come up. Some very crucial, important things have come up. So I wanna come and say something. And I have major, major receipts. So grab a bottle of wine or a glass of wine, not a whole bottle, a glass. <laughs> grab a glass of wine. If you're not a drinker, grab some water, some apple juice, cranberry juice, whatever works for you. Grab it. Let's get into the tea and all the receipts. <sighs> all right, family, as you guys know, um, about a month ago on March 25th, this is the specific date uh, that everything started. On March 25th, my accounts got hacked. My YouTube, my Gmail, my Instagram, my Facebook, and my TikTok. So what happened was the hackers got control of my password and my Gmail, and that Gmail was connected to every account that I have. And so it was easy for them to block me out of all of them. And I have made several videos about this, and a lot of you guys know about it. Um, but today's video is just, you know, one of the reasons for this video is to conclude everything and to just give you guys some insight as to what I've been dealing with throughout the past month. There's been stuff about my personal life. There's been stuff about my channel. There's been stuff about my relationship. There has been a lot of stuff that has happened, and I wanted to just conclude everything because... I, I'm done with my break. First of all, I want to go back to normal. And number two, I just wanted to close the chapter on this page and tell you guys what I've, you know, really been going through. So on March 25th, I got a message from WhatsApp that said, um, hey, are you Mercy? And I said, yes. And this said something about, and I'm going to leave all the receipts. Like I said, I'm going to leave screenshots, photos, video recording, whatever I have, I'm going to leave it so you all can see. But it basically said, I have control, like I, as I speak to you right now, I have control of all your accounts. So I thought it was a joke at first. Um, they said your Facebook, your Instagram, your YouTube, your WhatsApp, and this has never happened. I've been a full-time influencer for about four years now, and I've dealt with a lot of emails. I, I do all my emails myself, right? The brand deals, the collaborations, the sponsorships, everything. I do them all myself. And I have never, I'm very careful. I have two-step verification on all my accounts. So I was very, very careful with my stuff. And I have never gotten an email, a weird email, or downloaded anything, none of that. So when I got this message from WhatsApp of all places, I thought it was a joke. So I quickly went and tried to log into my Instagram. That's the first place I went, nothing. I went to YouTube, nothing. I went to my Gmail, nothing. I went to TikTok, nothing. I went to Facebook, nothing. I started panicking. This was at about 7 p.m. at night. I started panicking. My heart started racing. My heart, like I was crazy scared, right? And it makes sense now why they um, contacted me on WhatsApp because somehow through my emails or my personal information, they got my number from there, I think. And that's how they contacted me on WhatsApp. And that was the only, I guess, other platforms that I had. So I go back there. I was like, who are you? What do you want? And they're like, oh, I'm a nice person. All I want is money. Um, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to do anything with your channels. But I just, I just need money. So immediately, I have never been in a situation like this. I don't even know what a ransom is. I don't know what a hacking is. I used to hear people say, oh, I got hacked, but I got my account back never ever paid attention to it right so they basically said you got hacked and in order to get your stuff back you have to pay this amount of money so i immediately went into uh what's it called uh negotiation negotiation mode i started to negotiate please give me my accounts back i worked really really hard for this who are you what do you want 
how can I get my stuff back? So they go back and forth and they're telling me, do this, download this app, go to Bitcoin, send me this, send me that, send me this. And then they started calling. There was about three different accounts and then like two different phone numbers started calling me. They started texting me. I started panicking at this point. My heart is racing. I am scared. I am terrified. I don't even know what's going on. So it started to go on and on and on. That night I negotiated with them. We came up with a, a, a price for my stuff or the amount that they were comfortable with. And I said, okay, I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay. And a lot of people were like, why did you pay the scammers? Why did you do this? Again, I've never been in a situation like this. I, I didn't take classes for this, I didn't know. And I was in a state of panic. So my first thing was to believe them as crazy as that sounds now. They told me, if you give me this money, I'll give you all your stuff back. We'll act like nothing ever happened and we'll all go on. I said, okay. Okay, so I send them the money that night. This happened around seven-ish. I was on the phone on WhatsApp with this person. I never picked up their phone call, by the way. I thought that that would um, traumatize me if I heard their voice or if they were yelling at me or cussing at me because they were cussing at me through the text messages. Um, so I didn't want to be traumatized by their voices or anything. So I never answered their calls, but I would always text them back. So from 7 p.m. all the way to about 12, we're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I finally sent the money around 12, 1230 ish. And they were like, as soon as we get the money, we'll give you your stuff back. That time rolls around. I send them the money. They went completely cold. No answers back to my emails. I mean, my uh, messages, my chat, nothing, nothing. No answers whatsoever. When I tell you I was panicking, I started crying. I started shaking. I was so scared. I still didn't know what was really happening. I didn't, I couldn't explain it. I didn't know what was happening. So I didn't sleep the whole night. The next day I started texting them again. Hey, you said you were gonna give me my channel back if I pay you this money. I've already paid you the money, where's my channel? And they're like, oh, we already sold your channel to another partner and they want money too. So at this point, I've already talked to a few family members and they're like, why the hell would you pay scammers? Like you don't pay. Everybody's like, you don't pay. I'm like, okay, well, I didn't know this. So now I'm like, okay, what do I do? I have to be nice to them so they can give me my stuff back. So I'm trying to negotiate with them. Nothing's working. So I called the cops. I made a police report about the money and about the cyber bullying. Literally the cop told me that the only thing they can help me with possibly is to get my money back. If I were to file a case, with my bank but as far as cyber bullying or cyber crimes they don't have anything to do with that so they referred me to the fbi website to file a claim i did that till this day i haven't heard back from anybody but that's a story for another day this goes on for a few more days i'm crying i like i am hysterical i'm in so much pain i've talked to so many people and i'm rushing through the story because i've already talked about a lot of this if you haven't seen a lot of the videos please go watch the previous ones um so i'm panicking and then a few more people told me to create a twitter account and reach out to twitter i did that team youtube it's called team youtube on twitter i think that's what it's called you know my name is mercy gono i got hacked i don't have control over my channel please help me they sent me a message and sent me a link to fill out a form. I filled out the form, sent it back to them. Let me tell you, when you're on the outside of the YouTube partnership, it is impossible to talk to someone. You are literally talking to robots. These are automated responses that are already made and they're sending them to you. I took two hours to fill out this form, sent it to them, my nerves, my emotions, my this, my that thinking I'm gonna get my channel back. They sent me a generic message back saying, hey, we understand how stressful this is. We know how bad this can be. We know how much your channel means to you. We know how much work you've done. We're gonna do everything in our power to get your channel back. My hopes are high up. I'm prayed up. I have confidence. I'm happy. I stopped crying. The next day I get a message back. Hey, we looked into your situation and it doesn't seem like your account is compromised my heart dropped i was like this is literally my last hope these are the only people that can help me get my channel back they told me that my account didn't look like it was hacked it looked like whoever had access to my account if it wasn't me had a password and they were just accessing it it doesn't look like it's hacked 
I wrote several messages telling them my channel is hacked. And this was at the early stages when not a lot of people knew about it yet. I'm like, my channel is hacked. I don't have any access. My channel has been demonetized. My channel has been hacked. Like, I don't know how else to prove it. My channel has been hacked. I send them that email back. They emailed me back and said, we escalated your case. Our team managers and supervisors looked into it and it still doesn't look like your account has been hacked. So I go back to square one. Now I'm panicking. Now they're posting about Bitcoin on my Instagram. <sighs> I try to alert my fans on Instagram with my second Instagram page, which was my Mimba Lux page, my hair page. The hackers got mad at me for doing that. They yelled at me and then they locked me out of that account. And he told me, take the stories down right now because at that time he was still working to get the channel. I still had control over those uh, channels. I had two more channels, my daughter's channel and my hair channel. I mean pages, not channel, pages on Instagram. So once the main Instagram page was gone, I went to my second Instagram page, which was my Nimba Lux page, my natural hair page. It had about maybe eight to 10,000 followers. So I start, I made a lot of stories and started to tell people, hey, my account has been hacked. Don't follow those Bitcoin thing they're talking about. Don't invest in anything. Don't do this, don't do that. Please spread the word, my account has been hacked. My supporters grabbed it. They started to spread it everywhere. That made the hackers so mad they called me, I didn't answer. They called me like 10 times, I didn't answer. They sent me messages telling me, delete those stories right now, delete them. And I'm like, no, why should I delete them? I need to let my people know that I have been hacked. You're trying to scam people and I need to let them know that that is not me because they were using my face and my profile pictures to tell people to invest. And unfortunately, a lot of people fell for it and did invest and they ended up losing their money. So that was hurting me so bad. That became my goal to tell people, please do not invest with these people. I'm not the person in your DMs talking to you. That is a scammer, that is a hacker. I don't have control over my page. So they proceeded to tell me to delete the story and leave the account. So I said, no, they worked really hard because that page was connected to my main page all they had to do was look it up, change the password, bam, they kicked me out. As soon as they did that, I went to my daughter's page, also connected to that page, but they didn't know that at the time. So I started to post on there as well. They found that channel too, bam, they kicked me out. I created another one and another one and another one. I probably created about six to seven Instagram pages and they kicked me out every single time because they didn't want me talking. They didn't want me telling people that my account had been hacked. While this was happening, I also created a YouTube page, which is this channel, to also tell people. When I said that, oh my God, they got so mad. Delete the channel right now, delete the channel. I said no. But the great thing about that was that this new channel was not connected to anything else. It wasn't connected to all of my old stuff. It was a brand new email, brand new password, brand new phone number, so they couldn't get access. So that was literally, or this was the only way that I could get in touch with my fans. It almost seemed like every new video I had had a new Instagram page that would disappear after that video went live. I started to grow. Bloggers started to talk about the stories, troll channels, good channels, bad channels. Literally everybody was talking about it. Everybody was spreading the word about my channels being hacked and that channel started to grow my personal life came in and it took over like forget mercy being hacked now it was about mercy's personal life and they talked and talked and talked literally everybody was making videos about what had happened not just with my channel being hacked but with my personal life because unfortunately i was also going through a public breakup during that time um Again, I've made videos about this. I don't want to go into too much details. This is more about receipts. So once that happened, everybody started to talk, but it ended up helping me with everybody talking. It ended up working out for me because this new channel grew so, so fast, so, so fast to the point where I was able to get into the YouTube partnership program. The YouTube partnership program requires 1,000 followers and 4,000 watch hours. The watch hours, I don't know how it's calculated. So if people are clicking your videos and watching it from start to end, that increases your, um, your view, what's it called? 
your, your watch hours and it helps you get closer to getting monetized, which when you're monetized, that means you get paid, but you also get into the YouTube partner program where you're able to just literally click a button and talk to somebody from YouTube. So for the first three to four weeks, I had done everything. I had paid ethical hackers, ethical hackers for those of you who don't know, are people who do this for a living. They hack things for a living and it's legal. They do that to help banks, financial institutes, you know, social media accounts, public figures. That's their job. They do that to either get into somebody's account or discover something or recover something. That is their job. So I paid three different um, ethical hackers. All of my money went to waste. I had already paid the scammers. And at this time, they're still demanding money. They're still mad at me. They're still cussing at me blocking me out of my Instagram pages. It's still going on and on and on and they're still calling me. So into my fourth week, like towards the end of the third week and the fourth week, I finally got monetized from everybody talking about my story, everybody spreading the word, everybody, you know, just talking about me, whether it was good or bad. Just the fact that my name was being mentioned, my name was in titles, thumbnails, tags and descriptions everywhere it was mercy gono this mercy gono this mercy gono's house mercy gono's fiance mercy gono's that everybody was talking about me and that helped me grow super fast super super fast and i got into the youtube partnership program once i did that i had contacted twitter about three times at this point and i was so mad every single time i would go through the stupid form fill it out for hours and every time I filled it out, I was more specific, giving them more information, more details. And they would come back to me with a generic answer telling me that it doesn't look like your account has been hacked. Whoever has your account, if you're saying it's not you, had the password or has your email. And that's how they're accessing it. I had given up on Twitter at this point. Twitter was no help to me whatsoever. I even called Google. I called the headquarters of Google. And by the way, I was on the phone four different times for three hours each trying to talk to somebody. And whenever I get to someone, same thing. We can't help you. Go go to your recovery page, do this, do that. Nothing works. I was starting to lose hope at this point until I got monetized. Thanks to all the craziness surrounding me, it basically expedited the process and I got monetized. Okay, go back to the Google story. I called Google for the fourth time and asked them if I could go to the headquarters. I was ready to book a flight. I was ready to get a hotel, go down there, walk to the Google office and say, listen, I got hacked. They keep telling me that I didn't get hacked, but I did. All of my accounts are gone. My channel has been demonetized, which means I don't get paid at all. And they're deleting my videos. Oh, that was one of the things they were doing too. The, the hackers would get mad at me for not giving them money and they would record themselves deleting my videos right? I ended up finding out later that they weren't deleting it. They were privating it. And it was weird because it was all the most recent videos that I had done from like the first nine months of me being in Atlanta. So they deleted all of that and they would record themselves deleting it to traumatize me and to just create trauma for me, right? So they're like, if you don't send this money or if you don't delete that Instagram account or if you don't do this or do that, your channel, your, your videos are going to get deleted. And if you don't do this and that, we're going to permanently delete your channel. I was going through so much emotions publicly. My name was everywhere. And I don't even know how I was surviving, y'all. I, I, don't, I don't know. You guys just kept praying for me. You guys kept checking on me. You guys just, it was my supporters that literally kept me going. You guys, it's like you you had something that I didn't have. You had a certain kind of vision that I didn't have because literally everybody was like, keep praying. Something good's gonna happen. You're gonna come up on top. You're gonna do this. I'm like, I don't feel like I'm gonna come up on top. I ended up getting monetized. I went to my YouTube studio. The easiest thing ever. When you're a partner, it is so, so easy to contact you to support. That's what I ended up doing. I was able to contact them and tell them, hey, my account has been hacked. These are some videos that I've made about it. They, These are some pictures. These are some screenshots of what has been happening. They've been deleting my videos, putting them back, posting random videos, posting stuff on my Instagram. I just told them everything that happened. And 
this was the easiest process because I was a YouTube partner, because I had become monetized. It took three days, three days for them to get back to me. They gave me a list of stuff to fill out. So it was specific questions that only I would know the answers to, right? So where did you start your channel? Like what state, what city, what year, the date? What was your first video? What was it titled? What was it about? What was your last video you, rem you remember posting? What was that about? Um, what is your IP address? Where do you normally access your YouTube? Um, what is your bank account, your routing number, your bank name? Send a picture of your ID. Just stuff that only I would know. Even what device do you use normally to access your YouTube? So it was about 20 questions and it took me about three hours to answer them. I answered them and I sent it back to them. By this time, I am being dragged all over social media. Mercy this, mercy that, mercy this, like all the troll channels, all of the sweet little troll channels, even the itty bitty ones and the big ones, literally everybody, and the bloggers as well. The bloggers did an amazing job at first spreading the word about my channel being hacked, and then they took over my personal life and spread that word and that was less than <laughs> pleasing. I would log on to Facebook and my face is, at, not Facebook. And speaking of Facebook, they got my Facebook too and I was able to recover it. When they first got my Instagrams, I was able to get my two Instagram back. I was able to recover them. They got it, locked me out, and they tried many, many times to get my Facebook. And throughout all of this, I have come to realize that Facebook is the most secured. Facebook is the only thing they didn't get. Facebook will ask you for an arm and a leg to verify yourself. And once you do that, you can't get kicked out. So that was the only thing that kept me going. The only secured account I had was my Facebook and now this new page. So anyway, about a week of waiting, sitting in front of my computer, waking up in the middle of the night, checking my computer. My supporters telling me, don't give up girl, you're gonna come up on top. This is gonna be fine, you're gonna be great. Even though I didn't feel like it, they kept, you guys kept me going. You kept me going and I kept pushing. I kept emailing back, hey, any updates? Hey, any updates? I kept emailing back over and over and over. And I finally got an email saying, hey, click this link and change your password. A whole month of blood, sweat, and tears of paying hackers, crying, losing weight, going from one state to another, trying to go to the headquarters, paying ethical hackers, paying regular people, using free services, my supporters praying and crying with me and just hugging me from afar and sending me good vibes. A whole month of that, they sent me a simple little email and said, click this link to change your password. I clicked the link, changed my password, and I got my Google accounts back. I got my YouTube back, my two YouTube channels that were connected to each other, and I got re-monetized. So by the way, I got my channel back. I have posted a video on that channel. I want you to go check it out. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. Go there and check it out. We are celebrating because I got my channel back and it was only because of you, only because of your love, support, from talking about me, from praying for me, from sending me positive energy, good vibes, all of that is literally what helped me. I always say that my supporters got me to where I am. I always say, you know, Mercy Gono would not be Mercy Gono without my supporters. And you all proved it. You all proved it this time. Like you went out of your way. You went hard, so hard for me, out of your way to get me here. And literally, if it wasn't for you building this channel or growing the channel so fast, I wouldn't have been able to become a partner. I would literally be struggling right now, even till today with maybe a hundred subscribers, 200 subscribers, but no, you guys were spreading the videos. You guys were commenting. You guys were reporting to YouTube. You guys were just doing everything in your power as you prayed for me as well. And that is how I was able to get monetized, become a partner to be able to contact YouTube to get a simple little link to change everything. So. Like I said, I got my channel back. Head over to my main channel. The link is in the description down below. Head over there, watch the video, 
and yeah we're back now i don't know what the plans are for this new channel i don't know what the plans are moving forward but i know that i'm coming back with full force i've been dealing with a lot as you all know but i'm grateful i'm thankful and i'm ready to move on so thank you all again so so much for your love and support click the link in the bio make sure you're subscribed to this channel and if you did unsubscribe to the main channel Go back there and subscribe because we're back and we're ready to go. All right. Thank you all again so, so much for your love and support. I love you all and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.